Good morning, guys. So again, this is based off the overhead um, range of motion screen. So this now, we're going to look at the lats and the pecs. So if you've gone through the overhead range of motion screen, we looked at some criteria. Um, we looked at the thoracic. We went through that in the video before. Um, but here, if you're finding that you're not able to get them arms all the way overhead and you're feeling a restriction through here, okay, or you're feeling maybe some pinching sensation as you're bringing the arms round um, to this position, then um, these, the lats and the pecs, is maybe what we want to address um, to help us improve um, and, and be able to pass that range of motion screen, the overhead range of motion screen, and be able to get into a nice overhead position for handstands. So first of all, we have our kneeling lat stretch on the bench. And from here, we bring our elbows on the bench. We let our head just nestle in between the arms. We want to keep our abs tight. We also want to round out our thoracic spine. We're not trying to stretch thoracic here like the last one. Here, we're trying to get into lats. So we round out our thoracic spine like we're pulling our sternum up. Okay, we imagine that we're spreading our shoulder blades around our rib cage. Okay, so really spreading around the rib cage. Um, and from there, we should get a nice stretch into the lats. If you really spread the shoulder blades around the rib cage, then it should feel like quite a good stretch without if you're actually pushing too hard on this one. Um, if you're getting a pinch in the top of the shoulders, then I encourage you to try and spread the shoulder blades more and also pull up a little bit higher. Okay, because that's not what we want. Second one we can do is our rig lat stretch. So we can use a door frame here or whatever we've got. And we hold on to the, the object. And then from there, we try and, with our same leg, cross it over our body. So reach it back and cross it over our body. Should feel a nice stretch through the obliques and all the way up into the lat to res muscles, which are just underneath the armpit there as well. Okay. Obviously, that's um, that's both sides. But normally, you'll find, so this is the other side, you can see that leg crossing over. Normally, you'll find that one side is tighter than the other. So obviously, you spend more time on the tighter side. Um, yeah. And then we'll get into the pec stretch. So from here, we just use a door frame. Notice that my thumbs are back. Um, arms are back in line with the shoulders or slightly higher is also fine. Um, if the door is a little bit wider than this, that's fine too. From there, we're just stepping through, keeping the abs tight, stepping through, squeezing the shoulder blades back. You should feel a nice stretch through the front of the shoulders here. Okay. Throughout all these stretches, guys, including the thoracic ones, breathing through the nose, into the belly, and really trying to encourage that we relax through each of these positions. One of the best ways of increasing your range of motion, if, you, if it's you know, tissue stiffness that we've got, muscular stiffness that we've got, is to breathe properly, um, in, in my experience. So finally, we go in and integrate this. So we go back into that wall angel, and we can do it with a straight up one, we can do it with the wall angel this way, or we can do this one, where you can see that nice rotation happening. Okay, I do like this one, especially for the lats, especially as we rotate that palm here towards the wall. And um, that's going to get a nice um, full range of motion through the lats. And you can see from the side here, again, back flat, chin towards the wall. And what I encourage people to do here, guys, is really try and reach for the outer corners of the room as well. Okay, and that will promote that nice scapular movement. And um, getting a good overhead position is largely down to our scapular mechanics, which we will be working on throughout this course. Um, but yeah. Um, just be mindful when you do this exercise, really reaching towards the outer corners of the room, okay, and getting them shoulder blades to upwardly rotate um, and elevate as we want them to for our overhead movements. Enjoy.